The COVID-19 pandemic has had a dramatic impact on our city. Shops, services, restaurants, our small bars and pubs are all closed. The cafes that are open are for takeaway only and there are few cars and people on our streets. Council acted quickly with its $4 million city support package to support the community, provided targeted three months full rental relief for our commercial tenants, for traders at the Adelaide Central Market and for community groups and organisations who lease premises on the parklands, and waived the Runnell Mall marketing levy for three months. We also recognise the pandemic's impact on residential and commercial ratepayers and through hardship provisions we continue to work closely with those who are seeking deferral or payment plans. We launched our $8 all day touch free parking in Council's nine U Parks through U Park Plus and that has been incredibly well received by those who still need to come into the city. However, while acting quickly to support the community was a priority, the City of Adelaide is not immune to the impacts of COVID-19 on our own operations. The City of Adelaide is unique when compared with other South Australian councils in that its diversified revenue streams are now under serious threat. 56% of council's revenue come from rates, with the remaining 44% of our revenue coming from commercial operations and businesses, which are now seriously challenged. Last night, at a special council meeting, council considers a report noting the financial impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic and the actions that have been taken by our administration to ensure the safety of our staff and city workers. The report detailed how COVID-19 has affected our business and the actions taken to reduce and defer non-essential expenditure and the implications for our capital works, strategic projects and resourcing. Information that will assist councillors to consider how the recovery can be delivered. The Tuesday 12th May Council meeting will be the forum for critical decision making in the context of the third quarter financial report and an understanding of the full range of possible recovery levers including any future borrowings and our rates approach. Council requested a report with more information about the impacts so that we can continue to keep our community informed on all aspects of Council's financial position, including Council's operating position, funding position, anticipated borrowings for the year end of June 30th, 2020, and prudential limits, and most importantly, our recovery response. Council also set a target to reduce its own operating expenditure by $20 million in the next financial year and options for how that can be achieved. These are serious challenges ahead for the Council to consider. The City of Adelaide is gathering data, trends and relevant research at a local, national and global level to gain critical insights into what a post-COVID-19 environment would look like for businesses and our community. In the meantime, we'll be doing everything we can to ensure a high level of service is maintained for the community. I'll continue to keep you updated as decisions are made. Thank you for watching.